in the home building business, it's not how many homes a year that you build or even how much money you make that makes you successful. At the end of the day, what makes you successful is how much money you get to keep. And how much money you get to keep is determined by how well you control your callback costs. Now, one of the leading cause of callbacks and building failures is water intrusion. That's why in my project, I'm using this keen uh, lath net rain screen material. Now rain screens have been around for a couple thousand years but the concept is is basically we have a gap between the back of the cladding and your weather resisted barrier. And in my case I'm using stucco cladding uh, over uh, an inch and a half of foam with a weather resisted barrier behind it. But what's the beauty about this rain screen material is that it's a factory assembled combination of metal lath and rain screen material that's ideal for um, stucco and for masonry uh, veneer. Um, compared to standard lath and a weather resistive barrier, LathNet really provides this uh, full encapsulation of the lath. So that stucco is going all the way through the lath and the, and the lath itself is being fully encapsulated with stucco. And it also provides that drainage plane. Now this mechanically attached rain screen is called drywall and it's made by Keen Building Products. It's basically a structured polymer um, drainage mesh material with a built-in mortar barrier that prevents the um, mortar from oozing through this and clogging up the rain screen so you get really good drainage. Now the metal lath is self-furring, it's dimpled, it's G60 galvanized expanded steel. This product is available in 2.5 and 3.4 pound lath with either a quarter inch or even a 3 8 inch thick rain screen material. So this comes in two, two thicknesses. Now the reason why that's important uh, is because you may decide that you want a little more drying capability in the wall. So the thicker the rain screen material, the better this material uh, is at drying. It's also manufactured in 27 by 97 inch sheets with that code compliant overlap built in to uh, each, each sheet. Another cool thing about it is built in with this code compliant uh, uh, space. So your overlaps are automatically determined by the way that this material is pre-assembled. Pre so uh, another cool feature about this design is that it allows you to install the rain screen and lath at the same time which saves a significant amount of labor as well as the number of fasteners and penetrations. Also some codes will allow this rain screen to act as one layer of your two layer weather resistant barrier that's typically required by code. You want to check your local codes but this also saves labor and of course the number of penetrations which reduces your chances of, uh, of water intrusion. Now it's really important to note that this product I think is ideal for a masonry veneer and stucco as I said but what's nice about it is since it's all pre-assembled you have much less waste and of course it's labor savings. Now be sure to follow uh, the Concrete Masonry uh, Association's uh, manual for installation when you're working with synthetic stone uh, but in my mind in order to really create a house that is watertight and doesn't have these water intrusion problems is to always employ these rain screen materials. And Key makes a variety of rain screen products, not just the lath net. They also make this product that comes on a roll. It also comes in strips when you're dealing with lap siding. So in summary, rain screens are a really important tool that we can use to build watertight structures that are free from water intrusion.